the ability to do the kind of computational social science that we just did in this work um, because it's even possible to capture the massive amounts of data and to do the pattern analysis, to apply the machine learning and, and these sort of techniques and data visualization techniques. Um, and also, um, you know, we, we really are fortunate to have had the support of Twitter um, who provided uh, funding and access the data to our laboratory so we could do this kind of exploratory research uh, and shed light on really fundamental patterns of you know, human behavior in the context of new technologies. And um, I think uh, it raises um, many questions uh, about the future for how the, the nature of public discourse that we're all immersed in, uh, what might we do with this knowledge? Uh, certainly, the work we've done to date um, is it's a piece of scientific analysis of these patterns, mm -hmm. but I think it absolutely raises questions uh, whether it's uh, you're a policymaker, you're designing one of the social media platforms, uh, whether you're an influential voice on these platforms, such as a, whether you're a celebrity or a journalist or a newsroom, advertisers, and of course the public themselves, um, as we start to uh, understand uh, and sort of digest the meaning of uh, studies such as the one we just completed, um, how to start translating those into new things that we try 